hi and welcome to this uh video in this video i'm going to teach you how to restrict pages to only logged in users that is only a logged in user can access this page if i come to the website and i have not been uh if and i am not logged in and i am trying to access this page i will be redirected to the login page now let's begin we are going to start by first of all creating a logout view because selling me didn't write code in the um authentication video to log out a user so what we're going to say is we're going to say uh dev log out and after doing that we're going to pass in request after passing in request all we have to do is call this logout uh library that we imported earlier where we imported on the kit and login and what we're simply going to say is uh log out log out uh, request and after saying log out request we need to tell django that okay after logging out this user we want you to redirect the user to the login page so uh what we're going to say is return return redirect login so anytime a user logs out he or she is going to be redirected to the login page so the next thing that we need to do is create a url for this logout view now let's go to our view our urls.py and create a new path and then we're going to call this um logouts and then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to pass in views dot dot uh log okay let's put the comma here views dot log out view okay another issue that we might have is we need to rename this view now why do we need to rename it we need to rename it because the view that we just created has the same name as this uh, uh library that we imported earlier so we need to rename it and call it something different something like log out view so let's save it like that and then we will come back to our views.py and change this to views.logout view and after doing this we are going to give it a name of logout so let's just save it and um, the next thing we need to do is we need to actually create a button for the logout view because right here there is no button so let's return to our todo.html and then we are going to uh we are going to copy a button we are going to copy this button right here so after copying it please i need you to come outside this form tag now you must come outside this form tag if not uh you might basically paste it inside the form tag now after coming out um after um coming out outside the form tag sorry after coming outside the form tag we now need to create an anchor tag right here and we need to link this anchor tag to the logout view so we're going to say url and then here we're going to pass in logout because we gave this url name uh logout so the next thing that we need to do is we're now going to paste that button that we copied earlier and we're going to change this to logout so let's refresh and see how that looks so we can see how that looks let us change the color a bit so i am going to give it uh a styling i'm going to give it a background color of fire brick and i am going to give it a color of white so when we refresh that we can see this is how it looks like now to test our to test that our logout view is working let's just hit logout and once we hit logout you can see we have been redirected to the login page we have been logged out now the main purpose of this video is to actually show you how to restrict pages uh how to restrict some certain pages to only logged in users now the next thing that we need to do is that uh let's first log in and the next thing I need to do is we need to restrict this page to only logged in users. So if I am not logged in, I cannot access this page. So let's do that right now. So uh, we need to go to our views.py file. 
and then uh, we need to scroll to the top and import the decorator so we're going to say from django.contrib dot auth dot decorators imports login required so basically what's login required does is that uh it's anytime somebody's trying to access a view it checks if this person is an, an anonymous user or a, um, an authenticated user if it is an, an authenticated user it's going to allow the person to visit that particular page but if the person isn't authenticated it will redirect the person to the home page now let's do this so we said if the person isn't uh, logged in, we don't want the person to be able to access the home page. So what we're going to do is at the top of this home view, we're going to type in something. We're going to say at login required. And then the next thing we need to do is go to our settings.py file and scroll to the bottom. I already did it earlier. And as the bottom of the settings.py, we need to define where the login URL is. That is, after login required has um, detected that the person isn't a logged in user, we want to return the person to the login page. But we need to actually declare where the login page is. So we need to type in where the URL is. So in your settings.py, create a variable and name it login URL and equate this to the name of the login URL. That is, if we go to our URLs.py, the login URL will give it a name of login. So whatever you give the whatever name you give the login URL, just come to your settings of pi and paste it in there, and you are good to go. So we'll go back to our views the pi file right now and save this. So once we uh, log out and we try to access the home page, let's try to access the home page right now. You can see we've been redirected to the home page to the login page because we aren't logged in users. So the next place that we need to add this is at delete task because definitely we only want a login user to be able to delete and update the task. So we'd say at uh, login required and we would also put it here at login required. So we would save that. And anytime somebody tries to uh, access the home page, let's try that again. You can see we, we are redirected to the login page. So let's go ahead and log in right now. And once we've logged in, uh, there is something else that we need to write. So in a case where a person is logged in and person tries to access the uh, login page or the register page, we need to write some code that redirects the person back to the home page because we don't want a person that is already logged in to be able to access the register or the login page. So what we're going to do is we're going to just write two lines of code, a conditional and some other line. We're going to say if request dot user, if request dot user dot, sorry, u s e r dot is underscore authenticated, we're going to put a colon. So if the user is authenticated, we need to tell Django to redirect the person back to the home page. So we're going to say return redirect uh, return redirect and inside here we're passing home dash page so all we need to do is copy this line of code or these two lines and also paste it in the uh, login page now all we need to do is test our code so if we try to access the login page we can see we've been redirected back to the home page and if we try to access the register page we can see that we've also been redirected back to the register page why because we are already logged in and logged in users cannot we will not allow logged in users to access the login page or register page now what else do we need to add i believe that is everything we need to add and i believe we have finished our to do list websites so so that is all we need to do our to do list website is successfully working and everything is up and running if you co if you follow this course and uh, you watched from the beginning to the end i want to say a very big thank you for watching my playlist i really appreciate it please don't forget to like share and subscribe 
now the last part of this um tutorial is um, of this playlist is actually deploying our to-do list uh project to heroku so if you want to learn how to deploy to heroku and make it live for free just uh check out the next video in the next video i'm going to teach you how to deploy uh, a project a Django project to heroku for free and it's going to be live thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from the proton guy